Hello everyone, my name is Yunjung Choi. I'm a product manager working on Azure MCP server in Visual Studio. Today I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot an application that's failing to start using Azure MCP in Visual Studio. Let's get started. For starters, I'm going to visit the Azure portal and access the container app portal page where my application is hosted. Clicking the application URL, I'm immediately getting a 404 error and my container app is stopped or does not exist. And I'm also seeing an activation error on the Azure portal page, but no logs. Now that I've actually verified that my application isn't working, I'm going to copy the error message that I'm seeing and simply paste that in to the Copilot chat. I'm going to open up Copilot chat, select agent mode and class on it 4.5 as my model. Click on the tool selector and enable Azure development and Azure MCP server tools, which are agentic tools that help streamline Azure development. As soon as I drop my prompt in the chat, I can see that Fido Copilot is reading through all the files that I have in my project. After going through my code, Copilot found out the issue. My Azure app configuration connection string in app settings.json for the production environment is just a placeholder value that hasn't been configured. So when my container app starts in production, it's trying to connect to Azure App Config with an invalid connection string. That's causing the application to throw an exception during startup and failing to start. Copilot is suggesting two options to solve the issue. One is to remove the Azure App Config, which I'm not inclined to do. And the second option is to create an Azure App Config and use the real values. And instead of setting it directly in the app settings.json, we're going to set an environment variable in the container app. I'm going to go with the second option. I'm simply going to paste in the information that was shared by Copilot in the previous chat. We can see right away that Azure MCP server is making a sampling request to our LLM for better tool selection. And I'm going to just hit always allow so I don't have to click this every single time it pops up. And I can see that there is another tool call being made to generate Azure CLI command to create an Azure App Config resource. Also, Copilot is making the respective changes in my code so that my program reads from environment variables securely. Copilot generates a really nice summary of all the steps it went through to fix this application. I'm simply going to just give a confirmation to GitHub Copilot to proceed with the plan it's come up with. Copilot is making various calls to ARG to identify the two container apps that are related to this project. And it's also identified the resource group those reside in. It's now creating the Azure App Config in the same resource group. Copilot is also making changes to my container app with the environment variable. It's also identified that my container app is using an old deployment image, which means we need to redeploy with the updated code. Copilot kicks off the deployment process on my behalf and confirms that the web front end endpoint is working indeed. Now let's actually verify for ourselves. I'm going to open up Solution Explorer and check the app settings and make sure all the connection string placeholders are removed. I'm going to visit the production endpoint and make sure all the changes are reflected. All right, looks like my application is functioning as expected. Great. Today, we use the built-in Azure MCP server tools to troubleshoot an application. With Azure MCP Server, you can diagnose an issue, provision new resources, and bring Azure context directly into your IDE. Give it a try yourself. Thank you.